Now we can work some attacks. Now we can establish our position from side control. I want to work some attacks. The first position we cover from side control is controlling the head, controlling the hips. Okay. To move to a better position, I have to escape this elbow. So the way I'm going to escape this elbow is I'm actually going to move my knee up to escape his elbow. So from here, I'm going to switch my hips. One, two. Once again, all I'm doing is I'm moving his knee elbow up. One and two. One, two. So now he can no longer use the form to push off. So now I can go to my 100 kilos position. I move my hand from the hip under the elbow. Once again, gable grip and a lot of shoulder pressure in the jaw. A lot of times when you create this shoulder pressure, guys will want to push off on your face. When he pushes off, my underhand, my middle finger goes inside the elbow, pulls while I shoot my shoulder. His arm's already bent in the position. I push it down with my face and I bring this hand on top. Okay. I grab his wrist, his palm should be up. I grab his wrist with the monkey grip, no fingers. Okay. All five digits on the outside. My underhand shoots under, flip it over, palm down, monkey grip. And very important, I need to squeeze to his body and submit him. Okay. Very often we see it done out here, and all he has to do is bridge his hips, and I can't create enough pressure for to get the shoulder submission. So I have to squeeze to the body, and I'm going to paint the mat with his fingertips. Some cases you have a very strong opponent that will be able to straighten his arm out. When he straightens his arm out, I follow, and I squeeze the elbow, and push down with the hand, and I create a straight arm block. If he can bend his elbow and get it back to his hip, I switch my grips. So I went from here, arm in, nice and deep, to the wrist, to my wrist. Okay? I need to push with my entire body to get my elbow to the mat so he cannot grab his material. Once I get here, I switch my hips once again. Step over the head, and I snug the elbow close to my body. If you notice, his arm is bent in a 90 degree angle. And now I'm going to rotate my upper torso, twisting the shoulder out of place. Very easy. Okay, once again, let's look at the whole sequence. Starting from side control, I escape the elbow. One, two. My hand goes under, nice gable grip, 100 kilos, shoulder pressure with the shoulder. If he pushes off my face, I collapse the elbow. One, two. Okay. Palm down, five digits on the outside. I sh my hand should already be in place to shoot through the gap. If you strain his arm, I follow it, squeeze. I use my whole body to squeeze. If he bends it again, right away I switch my arms and I use my whole body to push the arm to the mat, preventing him from grabbing his gi. Switch my hips. One, step over. Two, twist. Three. Okay. Last but not least, don't forget about the wrist lock. 